Hi, this is Jeff Richards, Columbus, Ohio. You're listening to Barbecue Central. Start the game! Let's go! We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! So to get that perfect barbecue, you use wood. Are you sure you say whatever? We put the lighter fluid on, strike the match, and... Oh. Should we call the fire department? That might be a good idea. Hey, good afternoon, and welcome to an exclusive edition of the Really Big Barbecue Central Show, our third year of announcing who is going to be in the 2021 Barbecue Hall of Fame. Oh my goodness, if you can believe it, we are finally here. Joining me in just a minute will be Emily Park from the American Royal, manager of the World Series of Barbecue. We'll talk a little bit about the event set to take place mid-September, and then we will go ahead and make the reveal. So uh, 15, 20 minutes or so in length, and we're happy to have you aboard here on your Wednesday. Once again, we are doing it live. This is a live production. So don't let anybody else fool you. This is not pre-recorded. We're doing it. That's what we do on the show. As Daniel Vaughn says, the Texas Monthly barbecue editor that we are courageous on this show mostly and we're not afraid to let it all hang out all right so as the audience builds in let me go ahead and race to the hotline and welcome in friend of the show emily park hey emily how are you it wouldn't be a live show if there wasn't some technical if anybody questions whether we're live or not this one specifically is showing it all In raw form. So uh, as I was mentioning last night, uh, the Embedded Correspondence and I got together. And before we do this reveal, uh, luckily, this always happens on a Wednesday. So we're able to do it on a Tuesday night during the Barbecue Central show. We all voted for R3 independently. And then we actually came to a uh, consensus uh, for the top three vote getters. I was a little unsure if that was going to happen. So to put it out there all up front before we say, Oh, well, uh, I had the same ones after you reveal. Let me give you who the embedded correspondence uh, would have voted in had it happened last night. Uh, Meathead from AmazingRibs.com. John Marcus, noted TV producer and introducer of barbecue to the millions. And Bill Arnold. So those were our three. Now, last year we did this. I believe we got zero out of three right. (laughs) We were very poor prognosticators of prognostication, uh, which would probably make us really good weather people, depending on wherever we are in the country. <laughs> That's about right. Well, so there's I, nine to pick from. I yes. mean, you could say all nine, so it's tough. Right. So uh, that's who we have ready to go. Um, Before we get into the reveal here, uh, give us a quick update on anything relating to the competition. We know it's going to be coming 16th through the 19th this coming September. Uh, How many teams do we have registered? Any incentives or anything like that? What would we like to get everybody to know first before we get to the names? For sure. So uh, incentives. Now I'm just going to have to say it. We missed a whole year. So yeah. get out there. <laughs> right. This is a this is a family reunion. Not just our barbecue, but all barbecues. Get out there and do do some stuff. Get to see your friends and family again. So we push that. That's my biggest thing. Um, we have a over 200 right now, and every day more. So the good thing is, is we're taking teams basically until we start cooking. So. Keep on registering. As long as you can get your meat cooked in time, we want you to join. That's kind of as as simple as it can be. All right. Sounds good. We're talking with Emily Park here from the American Royal, the manager over there at the World Series of Barbecue. Barbecue Hall of Fame dot com is the website. So if your person doesn't get in this year, then you can go ahead and uh, take out a few minutes of your own time to fill out a nomination form for whoever you think is deserving. And uh, we talk about that on the show all the time, so everybody's pretty much up to speed. Let's go ahead and go over the names of the nine finalists, and then we can reveal who is going to be making up the class of 2021. And it's uh, a little different, or this is the, the this is the second year of legacy members, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we're going to have three, um, uh, let's call them traditional members, uh, through voted on uh, off of that nine uh, finals names, and then we will have two legacy members as well so we'll be voting in a total 
of five here during the show. Number one Correct. on the list, Bill Arnold. Who is Bill Arnold? Why do we know him? Bill Arnold, uh, if you know uh, Blues Hog, you know Bill Arnold. Blues right. Hog Sauce. I mean, you can kind of get it anywhere. Big staple in the barbecue contest community. Really built that up. But, you know, beyond that, very well-known name with his brand and everything he's done. Yeah, absolutely. Um, started competition, I agree. Uh, but now is expanded. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can find it in Ace, a lot of other larger retailers. Yeah. So somebody who doesn't compete like myself... Uh, has a complete affinity for those sauces. I like to mix the original and the red together, 50-50. That's like yep. my favorite sauce. Uh, so that's who Bill Arnold is. What about Ollie Gates? Ollie Gates, um, Kansas City uh, staple in the barbecue community, but really just kind of the, a barbecue restaurant tour, yep. big time. Um, if you were opening a barbecue restaurant and you wanted to figure out how to do it, you kind of look at what Ollie Gates did, you know, his restaurant, as well as like building a infrastructure to support barbecue. Um, really, I would, that's kind of how I would phrase it. Uh, big, big time. I mean, anyone who owns a barbecue restaurant knows what Ollie Gates has done. He has a rib um, university to teach mm-hmm. folks how to start this. No doubt. Uh, and then next on the list is Meathead from AmazingRibs.com. Yeah, I mean, if you need to know anything about barbecue, quick search the internet. You go to AmazingRibs.com. You found thousands and thousands of articles. Uh, He also, you know, him and his team really spend a lot of time to make sure what they're putting out there is very, like, scientific um, and maybe not opinionated, but really test a lot of products so you at home know what to use. Uh, Next on the list is John Marcus. John Marcus, uh, you know, his name, you maybe not don't know off the street, but if you've ever seen Pitmasters, which I, I would assume anybody listening here or watching has, um, Pitmasters. So he's one of the producers, director of Pitmasters, as well as many other things, and a huge barbecue enthusiast himself. Hmm. Uh, next on the list is Ed Mitchell. Ed Mitchell. Um, You know, Ed Mitchell, if you know Whole Hog, he's not the only one on here doing Whole Hog, but Ed Mitchell um, has his own restaurant out uh, in the Carolinas and been doing Whole Hog for a long time. Also on the list, another Whole Hogger is uh, Rodney Scott. Rodney Scott, yeah. And Rodney Scott's been uh, doing a lot lately. Uh, You probably see him currently. He's on uh, that Netflix documentary about uh, with some other Hall of Famers that we know, Tootsie. Um, And Rodney's kind of opening some new restaurants and doing some stuff, but very much known for his whole hog, uh, his bringing that to the to the folks. Yeah, and the new book that's uh, just out a month or so ago as well, so a new author. Uh, Next up is Joe Traeger. Now, I believe the last name might have given this one away. That's for uh, everybody. I said Joe Traeger to somebody <laughs> uh, a couple of weeks ago, and they're like, who's Joe Traeger? And I was like, what? So, well, you know, just in he case. He helped, you know, the the Traeger uh, grill or Traeger uh, smoker, if you would. Uh, that's Joe Traeger. He kind of started this. If you anything you can kind of buy now, really bringing that whole different style of barbecuing to your home. He He kicked it off. He created the whole infrastructure of this. That's right. Uh, pellet cookers and uh, the Traeger last name go hand in hand. Whether he's now legally yes. allowed to say that or not is another story, but uh, Traeger but and pellet cookers, it. no <laughs> doubt about it. Uh, next up is Darren Worth. Darren Worth, a uh, big, big name in the competition barbecue circuit. Um, I would name him the winningest barbecuer uh, currently around. Uh, you go to a competition and Darren's in it and uh, you better... Bring your A game. Darren <laughs> Darren's really taken over, has a restaurant, you know, up in Iowa and, and growing his business as well. All right, rounding out the list is Leanne Whippen. Leanne Whippen, I would say the master of all trades. She's kind of been in a in a lot of things. Um, Leanne's expanded her her brand and pushing her empire of barbecue through restaurants and and trying different things. You see her on barbecue circuit and kind of all around. Leanne, uh, you know, female in the barbecue world can be a tough place to be, um, but she's a really strong candidate as well. And she's really had the you know the word longevity comes to mind as well yes. because when I had first gotten into this. She was a target interview of mine. I had seen her on Food Network doing some kind of an American Royal thing with Bobby Flay. And you've seen her on television a number of other times since. Uh, she's been in the uh, restaurateur business as well, both 
in Virginia originally with Wood Chicks, then she goes to Chicago, and uh, now she's down in Florida with Devil Pig, I believe. So uh, quite a, mm-hmm. a prolific career in all facets of the live fire industry. So that's your nine. Uh, Bill Arnold, Ali Gates, Meathead, John Marcus, Ed Mitchell, Rodney Scott, Joe Traeger, Darren Worth, and Leanne Whip. So yep. that only leaves one more thing to do, and that's to start revealing who will make up this class of 2021 so with name one and in no particular order let's have it all right name one ollie gates wow ollie gates all right as you said the kansas city staple uh when Mm -hmm. i think of kansas city barbecue the two there's plenty of really great barbecue joints in kansas city we know this but there's two names that come to mind as a, the, the stalwart locations, uh, that's Gates and, of course, Arthur Bryant's. Uh, I think there's some kind of a rivalry thing that's gone on for generations there as well, but uh, Gates Barbecue is certainly one there. So uh, Ollie Gates makes it in, and he is the first of three. We go to name number two. Name number two, Meathead Goldwyn. Holy moly, I know him. <laughs> A regular on the show, the second Tuesday of the month, regular guest, Meathead from AmazingRibs.com. That is absolutely fantastic. So uh, we're very happy for him. And, you know, he was a unique card in this because while five of the nine were repeat names from last year, Meathead has actually thrice been nominated. (laughs) So uh, he crosses over the threshold here into the Barbecue Hall of Fame. For 2021. All right, let's go ahead and round this baby out, Emily, for your third number and th- final. Number three, Rodney Scott. Wow. All right, Rodney Scott. So he's a he's having a he's having a banner year, <laughs> I would say, as you had mentioned. He's a barbecue chef's table. One of my favorite stories within that whole series. Uh, then he's got the book coming out, uh, or he has the book out now, and he has uh, multiple restaurants. He's got the whole backstory, so to add him into the Hall of Fame is uh, incredible. Now, let's quickly go over this before I let you go, because I know you're very busy. How is, how are these three put into the Hall of Fame? How does the process work? Absolutely. So, Everyone, including these three in the top nine, were nominated basically online by anyone who wants to nominate them. Um, Then the nominations, hundreds of nominations, get down to nine. I would say dwindled down to nine through a rigorous task by our nominating committee. Please look online at our list of nominating committee because, man, they are a qualified bunch of historians, authors, folks in barbecue who know every name that has ever come through a nomination list. Um, And they basically work hard to get that down to nine. And with the biggest question being, what has this person given to the world of barbecue? Leave it at that. At the end of the day, that's kind of the biggest focus. What have they given back to change where we are now? Then that nine are put out to vote. And the votes are by the nominating committee and by the living members of the Hall of Fame. So everyone has about two weeks to review all these bios and vote. And they each get to vote for three. Top votes get in. Easy enough. Now, uh, for everybody that is left, so uh, Sands Meathead, Sands Rodney Scott, and Sands Ollie Gate, everybody that is left on that finals name list now gets tossed back into the main hopper for next year, and we start over from scratch. And then any new name nominations will also be included in that initial uh, argument slash pare down process. Exactly. So if you think there's a name out there that you didn't see on the top nine, they could or couldn't have been nominated, but nominate them. Doesn't hurt anything. We'll take multiple um, it actually helps the story of a lot of people. So if you have a story about someone you think should be in, send the nominations. They're open to everyone. There you go. All right. Uh, so we have the names as follows. Meathead from AmazingRibs.com. Ollie Gates from Gates Barbecue. Rodney Scott, of course, from Scott's Barbecue, uh, author and uh, you know restaurateur extraordinaire. And uh, quite a prolific pop-up guy from what I understood on the barbecue chef's table as well. Uh, there are also... Notwithstanding those three, two additional people that we're putting in, and go ahead and tell me who the first legacy member is. Okay, so to to re 
reiterize this. The legacy members are someone who has passed along. So our first legacy member is Lytle Bridges Cabinus. Wow. I'm not familiar. So, Can you uh, give um, me a quick background? I would love to. So right. uh, this is uh, North Carolina, uh, Red Bridges Barbecue. Her and her husband started a barbecue joint Um you know, and I'll find the exact year here, but it looks like back in the 40s. Um, he passed away and she basically ran the show. So you find someone in the Carolinas, a woman who's running a barbecue restaurant and really keeping it as a family joint for, you know, 50, 60 years. It's a big deal. Um, she passed it on to her daughter, uh, Debbie, who's running the show now with their children. And it uh, has continued to be, you know, a legacy in their family. So you can't really go out there without going to Red Bridges Barbecue or Bridges Barbecue, if you would. Uh, full story on her and her husband. But, um, you know, she really kept it going when it, when it could have stopped. All right. So that's the first legacy member. Now we go to legacy member number two. And you might have mentioned him already, uh, Mr. Arthur Bryant. Oh, wow. Gates and Bryant's yeah. going in. in the, 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 I know. The tradition and perhaps the <laughs> uh, divisiveness continues, but only in a good way, of course. Only in a good way. That's you right. know, um, there are, Kansas City is one of the many uh, barbecue hubs of America. You know, there's many, many of them. But I think both of these names uh, have a have quite the story beyond Kansas City, you know, really trace the past of barbecue and show how you can expand a restaurant. Um, you know, and Arthur Bryant, too, if you look back at his history, um, there's other he he learned from other barbecue Hall of Famers in there. So um, there's a there's a big like you said, there might be tension there, but I think it's all frenemies when it comes to expanding the world of barbecue. No doubt about it. Uh, so there you go with your legacy member. So total of five is in. Uh, before I let you go, Emily, anything else you would like to tie up, close up, or close out with, promote? Yes. One more thing I got to say. So Barbecue Hall of Fame, you know, we didn't get to honor the 2020 class in person last year. Um, so this year we are inviting the 2020 class and the 2021 class to the World Series of Barbecue for their induction ceremony. So all all living members as well as family members to come out, get their their ceremonial black apron um, and trophies and, you know, tell their story on our stage. So please, if you want to be part of this, uh, it's going to be a big, fun year. So yeah. come on out to the barbecue and see them as well. All right. And uh, of course, the competition taking place September 16th through the 19th. It's one of the biggest and most prestigious competitions to not only take part in, but win, obviously. And then we'll have the whole Hall of Fame uh, festivities as well. We're talking with Emily Park, the manager over at the World Series of Barbecue on the website barbecuehalloffame.com. If you didn't find your person getting in this year, please, please, please nominate early, nominate often. It doesn't hurt, as Emily said a few minutes ago. So please do that. Uh, Emily, always appreciate you coming on here and giving us the exclusive announcement here before anybody else. And uh, we continue to look forward to this partnership each and every year. Thanks so much for doing it. Thank you. You got it. There she is right there. Emily Park. After hurtling through some technical whatnot, we certainly did it. And as we had said earlier, if you think the show is pre-recorded, well, you're wrong. You we do it live. We do it live. We do it live. That's right, Bill. Do it live. We do it live. I'll write it and we'll do it live. You know, I'm thinking to myself, who could we possibly have for instant reaction, if any? I mean, is Rodney Scott available. I don't know. I, I've never met Ollie Gates in my life, but I know who we can go to right now. It's Meathead from Amazing Friends Meathead. <laughs> Look at you, Mr. Hall of Famer 2021. Let me be the first or 500th person to congratulate you on crossing over the threshold finally, getting off the finals list and into the final list that you want to get into. Are you Misty? I, you know, I was kind of. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, I can. I, I was kind. I was kind of enjoying uh, the uh, moniker of uh, being the most nominated and least elected, the uh, Susan Lucci of yes. barbecue. I guess that's. Oh, in fact, that's what uh, 
uh, your 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 guest. Uh, this is the first thing she said to me when she called me today. She said, "You're no longer Susan Lucci." Oh, well, <laughs> so, I mean, that's uh, both bittersweet and, or uh, sweet and sweet, no doubt. I'm quite, quite an honor. I'm very proud that you know there's there's only 37 members. There's only about 24, 25 uh, living members. Um, it's a very august group. Uh, I don't know if I belong, but uh, I will take the honor and run with it. Well, if you're nominated, that's all it really takes. So I would say whether I deserve it or not, toss it out the window because you've legally gone through the process. You were argued for and made it into that finals list. And then it was sent out and enough people that are living in the Barbecue Hall of Fame see your worth see your contribution to the live fire industry and in you come so we (laughs) we so they welcome you with i would say we but i'm not in there so uh, they welcome you with open arms and i think it's certainly deserve it as we were going through the embedded correspondence stuff last night you were on everybody's uh short list of three that they were nominated so um, well your your time will come soon too you what you there's nobody who's done what you've done um uh, it ought to be recognized, and uh, I think everybody in the Hall of Fame who's uh, and, and nominating committee knows who you are. And, uh, uh, you know, I guess now that I'm part of that panel, I'll yes. uh, I'll try to uh, I'll do some lobbying for uh, you. I see. We, we have a little help from the inside now. What's your first order of business, Meathead, as you cross <laughs> over into the Hall of Fame? Let's hear it. I'm going to Wikipedia and going to the barbecue listings and i'm going to polish them up and the first little punk that comes in there and yes. erases my edits i'm going to rub hall of fame in his nose that's right <laughs> because- <laughs> we're bringing the hall I've of fame that. hammer go in- wherever we go I've- now right i've tried to go into wikipedia and correct some of the listings and there's just always some know-it-all punk that uh comes in and undoes what I've done. And uh, now I can say, hey, a-hole, next time when you're in the Hall of Fame, yes. your edits can That's stick. That's right. <laughs> Other than that, hit the bricks, pal, and beat it because you are going out. Anything else? Oh, I mean, yeah. is this, uh, does, this, does this day change for you well, in any way? Is it a whole new life for me, Ted? Well, uh, you know, when I was first nominated two years ago, I bought a bottle of my favorite champagne, Billicart Samon Rosé, a very expensive French champagne, and put it in the fridge in the basement, and it's still there. <laughs> so uh, tonight, my wife and I are going to tap that. Um, you know, if from a practical standpoint, it's good for business. Um, uh, we run a, a very popular website, and... Uh, uh, for us to be able to say that uh, uh, the founder is in the Hall of Fame, I think will, won't hurt business. Um, we're also introducing rubs and spices in June, um, and uh, it won't hurt to say that the uh, creator is in the Hall of Fame. So it, it's a good thing for business. It's a, and it's a, it, it's you know it's. I've worked very hard in the barbecue world, and it's a milestone and perhaps a tribute to the effort. Absolutely. No doubt about it. We're talking with Meathead Goldwyn, creator of AmazingRibs.com. However, you will now know him and will be introduced from here forward as a barbecue Hall of Famer. Now, look, I'm not here to pick nits, Meathead, but you made it into the Barbecue Central Show Guest Hall of Fame first time around. That's so, right. That's I mean, right. we know you, where the my, high my honors are. My first Hall of Fame. That's right. We know where the high honors are. But now you yeah, will be you Barbecue know, Hall of Fame as well. From now on, when you and I get into a disagreement, I'm going to be able to pull rank on uh, you. There's no way I would even start disagreeing <laughs> anymore. My days of disagreeing are over because the hammer will. will be brought out. Think of it, though. Of, among your regular guests, there's Stephen Reichlin. Yes. Um, there's um, uh, Dr. Barbecue. Yes. Uh, yours truly. Uh, um, who else on there on that list is in the hall? I've had so sure many. Got uh, well, geez, I mean, if I quickly peruse the list that's up there, um, I've well, had, had. I think I've had, had Bill Myron Arnold Mitchell. on the show any All right, number of years here. ago. You've had Myron. You've yes. had Melissa Cookston. You've yes. had Artie. Yes. Um, uh, I don't know. Have you had Aaron Franklin? Uh, many times. Uh, Leanne Whippin, Darren, uh, Rodney Scott, John well, Marcus. Not in yet. 
Uh, yeah, Leanne's I, not in. Oh, yet. we're talking of the Hall of Famers. I see. Okay. Uh, in the Hall. Yes. Yeah, I mean, actual certified Tuffy haulers. Tuffy Stone uh, has have... been on. I mean, look, I've right. pretty much in, uh, interviewed all of them. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. Mike you, Mills, you, even going back then. All. Yes, of course. So this is the. I'm looking forward to meeting uh, Tootsie Tominitz. Yes. Um, uh, uh, some, uh, you mentioned that um, Netflix series. Um, uh, Tootsie is. Uh, uh, featured in that series, um, uh, Chef's Table is that the name of it? Yes, I think Barbecue it is. Chef's Table. Yep, Barbecue Chef's Table, and um, so is Rodney Strong, and th- th- those are brilliant, brilliant shows. They're just beautifully shot. Um, they tell a one. They tell the story of those two individuals. Plus, there's um, I can't, I'm drawing a blank on the gentleman's name, but there's a guy in Australia who's got a restaurant where everything is cooked over open flame. Uh, um, his last and, name and is Hasties, but I can't think of his first name. I think that Hasties reason. may be the restaurant. Um, yeah, it, it, it he too, fa- absolutely fascinating. Um, uh, th- this is a really worthwhile series, and two Hall of Famers in there. I am most honored. Lennox Hasty is his initiated name, by the way. With, Lennox Hasty. With Arthur, what's that? Lennox Hasty is his name in Australia. Ah, that's it. Yeah. I, I'm going in with Arthur Bryant. Yes. Goodness gracious. Yes. I mean, first of all, I'm shocked he's not hasn't been in before. Um, uh, and uh, I didn't know this uh, Lytle Bridges cabinus, um, but uh, that sounds like a fascinating story. It's great. Uh, I'm very happy for you that you're going in with a great class. Uh, Ollie Gates as well, and uh, Rodney yeah, Scott. I mean, yeah. you. The, I, what a what a list to be going in with. Um, yeah. And then to have yeah, those two legacy league, members yeah. as well. I mean, absolutely fabulous. All right. Uh, I won't keep you because I know you have a clubhouse going off in about 30 minutes, and I want you to prep yeah, for did that. Did you say you were going to have a clubhouse at yes, the same but time? I, as I have to. I can't do it any other time. This follows... The this follows the whole exclusive this announcement. Could, this could dissolve a beautiful friendship. I, it can't because nobody's tuning in to me. Don't worry about it. Oh my goodness, <laughs> nobody tuned in to me the last time. So, but it's it's the Find only time, time to have. I your, would any other why day. Don't you come on my show. Come no, on my show no. and let's team up. No, 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 no. Let's do because I don't want to take over your show because you have a co-host. And uh, well, she actually she's not going to be there. But now that we're talking about it, I will be going on Clubhouse. Yes. At uh, uh, four four o'clock Eastern. Eastern. Right. um, uh, As I do every week. Yes. Uh, Usually I have with me uh, the estimable Elizabeth Carmel, who should be in the Hall of Fame. Hmm. And uh, she can't make it. She's taping for the Today Show today. Um, but uh, I will be there, and uh, it's uh, instead of having a topic, it's question and answers from Meathead. So if you want to talk about Hall of Fame, I'm uh, happy to do so. Answers from the Barbecue Hall of Famer of 2021, Meathead at AmazingRibs.com. All right. So, uh, Meathead, we wish you, again, a incredible amount of congratulations as somebody who has had Thank a you. relationship with you for I mean, 12 years, 13, maybe longer than that, 17 I years. I knew you I when mean, you didn't a, have any gray hair. You knew me when I had no live show either, and a few actually recollect that, believe it or not. So That's right. I think the first That's time right. you were ever on the show was when you took part in the very first barbecue ribs round table, uh, which was I, I knew you when you drank. Yeah, right. That was a long time ago, too, You know, almost uh, three or four years. And uh, Well, September I want you to know I, I still drink. Well, <laughs> if you're doing enough for the both of <laughs> us, then you're doing it us. right. All right. Well, very good. Enough for right. So, uh, uh, sincere congratulations, Meathead. You certainly deserve it. And uh, everybody else is chiming in here through the instant message with similar sentiments. So, uh, I know this. In two weeks' time, uh, we will be back at it on the Barbecue Central show where you meet with me on the second Tuesday of every month. And uh, we will recap a little bit further on the Hall of Fame stuff. And then we'll get into our usual shenanigans and tomfoolery. Yeah, thank you, and um, a testament to your uh, your your power. Um, I'm getting emails and texts from many people, presumably Great. who heard about it right here. Of course. All right. Well, Meathead, congratulations, and we'll talk to you in two weeks. There he is, the Barbecue Hall of Famer, Meathead. Uh, I don't have any other contact information for Ollie Gates or Rodney Scott. I did through VMix, so I know he's. Not ready to rock and roll, so I just can't drop in on him. However, 
You know, if it would have been some other folks, I probably would have been able to utilize my phone a little bit more, but I don't. All right. Hey, we're a little further into this than I anticipated, but don't worry about that. We will get ready to wrap up. And we thank Meathead for being available for instant reaction, of course. Your 2021 Barbecue Hall of Famers are Meathead from AmazingRibs.com, Ollie Gates from Gates Barbecue, Kansas City, and Rodney Scott, restaurateur, author, whole hog master, the legacy members making it up this year, Lytle Bridges Cabinist, and Arthur Bryant. Those are the five in total. Incredible. Once again, we thank Emily Park from the American Royal, manager of the World Series of Barbecue. And if you didn't hear your person get called or even nominated or argued for, fill out the nomination. BarbecueHallOfFame.com. Do it. Give a lot of information. Make your case so the names committee is able to really consider it. And do it. I think it'll probably open up next week again. Then you have quite a substantial amount of time. Uh, we have a big show planned for you this Tuesday coming up. As always, Malcolm Reed is in, Sam the Cooking Guy is in, and more. And don't forget to join me in about six, uh, 26 minutes from now on Clubhouse, where we will talk about the folks that got into the Barbecue Hall of Fame and the ones that didn't and who should have been in a long time ago and all that fun stuff. So if you have Clubhouse, get into it, and here you go. We'll give it a whirl. And we'll leave it at open for 10 minutes, 30 minutes. I don't know. We'll give it a whirl. Anyway, September 11th, 2001, I will never forget. And until Clubhouse at 4, and then next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, this is your program host and proud U.S. American, Greg Rempe. Good night now. Hi, this is Austin Parsons, pitmaster with Smoky Mountain Q in Nashville, Tennessee, and you are listening to the Barbecue Central Show.